tampling with my technology this morning. Some mornings are like that. Can you imagine that? Well, what does the future hold? What the future holds? Picture this. I want to chat about this for a couple of minutes because it was what popped into my mind this morning in terms of something that's really important for us as we're growing and supersizing our businesses. And I found in my bedroom this morning, I'm, I'm cleaning up and packing and moving. And so I find all these cool tools and things that I have that I'd forgotten about. And one of them is this little book from Wayne Dyer about success. It's Dr. Wayne Dyer's Everyday Wisdom for Success. And I open it and I turn to a page and what it says is, change your expectations for yourself. Expect the best, expect your fortunes to change, and expect a miracle. And that got me to thinking about what does the future hold? Can you see it? Can you taste it? Can you smell it? Can you touch it? Can you feel it? Can you, with every fiber of your being, imagine what the future, and I'm talking the future of your business here because we're talking about supersizing our businesses. Can you see the future of your business? Can you see it? Can you, and in all your senses, do you actually envision and know not what, not what tomorrow brings, not what five years maybe, but what your long-term big, huge vision for your business is. And if you can't see it, how on earth do you ever expect anyone else to see it? That's one of the, the major things in our major roles or major jobs or major <clears throat> responsibilities as a business owner is to be able to paint the picture and, and describe in, in a lot of different facets what it is we're all working toward. If we ever want to accomplish great things, we have to be able to explain to people what that great thing is that we're trying to accomplish. And if we can't do that in a way that makes people want to, to work toward that along with us, we're going to have a really time, a hard time, a really difficult time making that a reality. But it begins with us understanding and knowing what that vision is. So if you haven't done it, <clears throat> which <clears throat> a lot of people haven't, and I know that I'm guilty of this too sometimes. Sometimes I've got that great vision for a project that I'm working on and that, and Here's the deal that I've, here's what I've learned. If I've taken the time to sit down and write down, and even if it's just keywords and phrases and notes that help me to trigger my thinking and get really clear on the picture of what I'm trying to create with a project or a business, that project comes together so much easier and so much faster than if I have not done that. So I'm going to encourage you today to sit down. And if you have not done this, if you have not just spent 10 minutes, 20 minutes, five minutes, Writing down what exactly you're trying to create in the world, what you want that end vision of your business to be, you're going to struggle because it's impossible to paint the picture clearly for other people if you haven't clearly painted the picture for yourself. I'm making a lot of painting the picture signs. You think I was an artist or something, but I can barely draw stick figures, much less be an artist. <clears throat> so it's important and it's it's not only important for our business and supersizing and growing our businesses it's important for every aspect of our life have you thought about the perfect relationship or the ideal relationship and I'm talking significant other relationship in this example that you want to have in your life I'm gonna tell you right now I have not done that I'm divorced I haven't done that and if I look at the results in my life right now, I do not have a partner. I do not have a significant other. Now, I will tell people because I don't want one. And that is why I have not taken the time to write down what would the exact perfect person for me look like. What would they look like? What would they taste like? What would they smell like? What would they, what would they behave like? What would their core values be? Every aspect of that ideal person. I, I always coach people to do that if they want a relationship. And when I'm ready to have a relationship, I will do that, but I haven't done it yet. And if we want to know for certain what we're thinking and if we've done a certain thing or not, all we have to do is look at the results we're having in our life right now. So if I look around my business and I'm not, it's not the exact business I want and it's not moving toward, and it might not be the exact business you want because maybe you just started your business. But if it's not at least moving toward the vision of what you want, then you know that you are thinking things that you need to change in order to create what you want. And the best, fastest, easiest way to do that is by spending some time and energy visualizing and imagining and drawing out, writing down, painting the picture. And maybe you just draw a picture. If you're artistic and talented, draw a picture of symbols and things that, that because we think in pictures. Our brains think in pictures, not in words. So if you can actually map out and draw out 
pictures that represent your ideal business and your supersized business and the vision of that, that's even more powerful for you. And if you can communicate and share that with other people, that is what gets them on board. That's what we use to build our teams. Everybody in our organization, everybody, even if they're not in our organization, if they're just outsourced people, they have to know how they fit into the big picture, how they fit into the big vision. And we have to know where we're going. We have to have a reason why we're creating what it is that we're creating. And you share all that through your various senses, but mostly by being clear on it yourself so that you can share it with other people. I hope this makes sense. I hope that this is valuable to you. I know it's been really valuable to me in terms of growing my different businesses. I've had lots of different businesses. I think like 27. I think it's like 27 different businesses in my life. Now I'm old and the pajama grandma, so that's that makes sense. But I also know that if I look back on those businesses, the businesses that flourished and I did really well in and that grew really fast were those that I had a vision for. I knew where I was going with it. I knew why I was building that business and I knew the people that it would serve and, and what it existed to create in the world. The ones that I struggled with were those that I didn't have a clear vision for. I'll give you an example. My Italian food manufacturing business. Great business, great product, people loved it, but I didn't have a big purpose or a big vision for that company. And we struggled a lot with it because I couldn't paint the picture for the employees and the people that worked in the organization with me because I didn't have that big vision and that big picture. And that led to a lot more ups and downs and struggles than we would have had to have had I stopped, sat down, painted the picture and been really clear on the purpose and the vision and what I was trying to accomplish with that business. And so that is my example of why this is so important. That's it. Go out, make it a fantastic day. I would love to hear what you think about this, about how important do you think it is that you're clear on what your business is all about in terms of supersizing it. Share in the comments below because this pajama grab would love to know. Bye. Have a fantastic day.